Photographing a pet can be a fun way to capture their personality and immortalize them in a unique picture. It can also be frustrating at times as well. Animals' attention spans can be trying, and it can take quite a while to get the images you want. In this video, we're going to go over a few tips for photographing your pet. A popular trend right now is making portraits of your pet. Today, we're going to make some portraits of Dave's dog, Vito. We'll try to get some shots of him in action as well. You'll need a camera and a few different lenses depending on the type of shots you're going for. It's good to have a fast telephoto lens for action shots and separation of your dog from the background. This will help for moments you don't want to miss when the dog may be too far away for a normal view lens. You should have a portrait lens on hand as well, and even a wide lens for some more unique close-up portraits. But before you even turn the camera on, make sure your dog is well-groomed so they're looking their best for the camera. Keep some tools such as brushes or combs on hand. You may need to groom during the shoot as well. Depending on whether or not you're photographing your own dog, it's always good to have the owner nearby and attentive so the dog is comfortable. An agitated pooch could really throw a wrench in the works and slow things down. Make sure you have squeaky toys and treats on hand to keep the dog focused and engaged. The ideal space to photograph your dog is outside and away from busy activity. With all of the natural light available, you should be able to capture portraits and action shots alike without having to add any additional lighting. A reflector can be used for portraits if your dog's hair is on the darker side but you should avoid using strobe lights when you can because some animals might react poorly to the flash. Get down on the same level as the dog. Try to be level with their eye line for your portraits. You may have to use a squeaky toy or have someone close by to get the dog's attention. Use a single focus point and try to keep their eye your main focal point. A sharp eye is key to a successful portrait of your pet. Try to minimize the busyness of your background. Employing a wider aperture will get you a shallower depth of field and help you separate your dog from the background. It will also help keep the attention directed to your dog's eyes and face. If you can shoot in diffused or shaded light, you'll get the best overall even lighting. If it's a bright and sunny day, then try to avoid backlighting your dog with the sun. Keep the sun to your back to help even out the contrast on the dog if the lighting is too harsh. When shooting your dog in action, you'll need a high shutter speed to freeze the action. You'll also want to use a continuous autofocus mode so the camera locks on to the movement. Switch to your telephoto lens and have the dog run towards the camera. You can have someone take a toy that the dog likes and throw it so it lands in front of the camera. The dog will run directly toward you and hopefully, with a little luck and practice, you'll get a great shot. If you're trying to capture an indoor portrait and there is no available natural light, you could use a strobe light or a continuous light. Be careful with strobes because they may scare your dog and dog's eyes tend to act differently when lit with strobes. Instead, Try using a strong continuous light source for indoor portraits. What tips and tricks do you use for photographing your pets? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one.